hope you're doing great. The last time I set foot on this campus was 12 years ago, so I'm happy to be back. Now, before we start, I'd like to know our audience here today. By raise of hands, how many of you have played around with AI or know anything about AI and would like to continue using AI? All right? Now, by raise of hands, how many of you are concerned that AI is probably going to take over the world? All right. And now, by raise of hands, how many of you think that AI is ChatGPT? All right. See, if you have an advantage in life over your competition, in business or any other endeavor in life, would you take it? Yes. And if you have, if I told you that you could leave today with a superpower, would you use it? And most importantly, how would you use it? See, we all are born with different advantages. We all have different ad advantages. Some are born with it and some acquire it, right? And in business, our advantages are what sets us apart from competition. A few years ago, I was pitching one of my ideas to a VC, a venture capital, and one of the investors at the very end, she asked me, Omar, what is your unfair advantage? Now, although I answered this question, I didn't feel that I gave the best answer. Funny enough, while I was walking through the airport from Beirut to Saudi, back to Saudi, I stumbled across this book, and it shouted, unfair advantage. And I was like, I had to buy it. So in that book, it starts by telling you that life is unfair, and we all have different advantages. And they define something called the Miles Framework. See, the Miles Framework is a tool set for you to discover your unfair advantages. Let's break it down. The first one, money. See, if you have money, you definitely have an advantage, right? If you have the capital, the purchasing power, you have that advantage. Next goes intellect. So I stands for whether you have a specific, you're book smart, you're wise and you're, you're academic, you have a specific field or domain that you know what you're talking about. L goes for location. The typical phrase, being at the right time, at the right place, this is an advantage. E stands for experience, you being a subject matter expert in your field, whether you are an engineer, a doctor, a psychologist, you name it. And S stands for status, your connections, your personal network, who you know, who knows you, right? And so today I will tell you how you can use your unfair advantages to start your AI journey. But then you might ask, what is AI? Is it really an advantage? And there is a concern that AI could render human creativity obsolete. Well, I'm here standing before you to challenge this very notion. AI is definitely a superpower. And if you don't familiarize yourself with it, it could become somebody else's unfair advantage. So instead of telling you what AI is, I thought I'd walk you through my journey and share with you some of the innovations that I've been working around with. See, I happen to be, going back to the Miles framework, I happen to be at the right time and the right place. I've been in Saudi for almost a decade, and just recently, I've been part of one of the biggest AI accelerator programs, basically mentoring and coaching startups, early stage startups. This program is led by the Ministry of Communications and the Saudi Data and AI Authority. And they have a plan to launch 300 AI startups in the next 36 months. And just three days ago, I was at a conference, probably the, big, the biggest tech conference in the region, LEAP, correct? And the Minister of Communication announced a $1 billion fund to boost the AI startup ecosystem. Now, I was lucky to work with amazing people. And during that work with, we, we mentored around 50 startups now, three cohorts. We had awesome visits by awesome people. So Gary v visited our offices, Bill Gates and his foundation visited our offices, and we were lucky that our startups got to pitch their innovations and show them their AI innovations. Now let me walk you through my journey. In 2021, while I was still in corporate, I decided to venture into my own business, 
and I started XGuard. XGuard was supposed to be a sports promotion company. Now in 2021, and I've seen some, I see some young faces, I jumped into the metaverse, NFT, all this market, blockchain technologies, and I wanted to do something about it. It was a hot topic in Dubai and in Saudi. So we pivoted. XGuard started to be a solution provider. We started providing solutions, building AI, uh, building metaverse projects, blockchain projects. But then the market went completely down, right? And then a few years later, just last year, we, so we started our second venture, Digital Priority, in Saudi Arabia. We moved into Riyadh, and we started to position ourselves as a fully AI company. So what we do is, Digital Priority is an emerging tech strategy firm. We build strategies for our clients, and we also help them adopt disruptive technologies by building solutions for them. And just last month, I co-founded my third venture, Advantage. It's a sports and media tech company. We have patent pending technologies, hopefully set to revolutionize how motorsports connect with audience through dynamic advertising. That's a completely different topic now. But today I wanted to really show you some of the innovations that I was lucky to either mentor, advise, or onboard as part of our solutions in our company's portfolio. So the first example that I'm gonna give you is called Agile Loop. Agile Loop is a tool. They're, these guys are planning to become the next-gen operating system. And what I mean by that is they wanted to solve the problem of you learning a new software. They wanted to solve the problem of redundant tasks. Basically, what they did was develop something called large action models. Large action models, in simple terms, let your computer interact with you. So now you can actually speak to your computer and automate specific tasks. I'll give you an example. If you are, and I don't know, some professors might hate me today. If you are conducting a research paper, or you have a business report that you need to do, you need to browse the internet, you need to put the information on PowerPoint, you need to go on Excel, crunch some numbers, open Outlook, probably send it to your teams for a review, and then send it to your superior. What if I told you, now you can talk to your computer, and you can do all of that by just saying what I just said. So I'll give you a quick example. All we did over here was just say, create a summary on Vision 2030 and send it to Kim. Everything you see now is zero human intervention. All of the windows popping and opening, this is fully AI. So AI is looking or searching the internet. AI is opening Microsoft. AI is opening Outlook and sending it to Kim. And we can integrate as many applications as we want. Fascinating, right? I'll mention that in a minute. So the next example that I'm going to give is for my fellow designers. So who here, who here has experienced moving apartments? Moving into a new flat, right? It's painful. It's a painful process, right? Finding in this next furniture in due time. Well, NeoLocus is a tool. It's a gen AI tool that helps you visually redesign your house by simple prompts. All you have to do is take a picture of your room. By simple prompts, you can enter your budget, you can enter the style that you'd like your house to be, boho design, industrial, modern, and then all what AI does is suggest how your house or room will look like. And not, that's not just it, the beauty here in this company is that they partnered up with real home decor companies. So all of these assets that you see are actually assets that you can buy. You can play around, you can shift them all over. This could be a couch from Ikea or anywhere else. You can actually buy it on the spot. So imagine a three week job, four week job, currently takes just a few clicks. And I can go on and on on all of the different innovations that we have seen and been working with. Now I'll go to, walk, to talk a little bit about some global examples. Any gamers out here? All right. So I'm not sure if you've heard, NVIDIA recently, one of the biggest tech companies, they recently installed AI into NPCs. NPCs are non-playing characters. So all of these different bots that you see roaming around when you're playing games, 
Now you can actually go and act talk to them. You can interact with them, which would really change how we experience gaming. On to a more impactful example, medicine. In 2020, and in just three days, AI helped discover a new antibiotic called Halicin. MIT researchers, researchers screened 100 million data points. Without AI, this could have taken them months. They, they discovered this new compound, very hard to find, Halicin, in just three days. So if that happened in just three days, aren't you a little curious to see what this AI-led research can bring 5, 10, 15 years from, from now? You're not? <laughs> well, I sure am. Now, how does it actually work? Think of it like your human brain. AI works on neural networks. So our brain captures images, captures data in the form of memories. And these memories, we use them to remember and to learn from our previous experiences. And we use our creativity to predict and also create specific experiences. AI works the same way. So basically, the more information and data inputs I have, the more accurate our AI models are, which brings us to the privacy. The last thing you want for your business is a biased AI model, is a sexist model, or a rude model. And I think we've seen a lot of examples of AI messing it up. This could be deteriorating for your business. Regulations are coming, but innovators, people who have this tech passion, we are a headache to, to regulators because technology moves far faster than regula regulations. So we innovate and then regulate. So going back to the Miles framework, I can see AI in every single vertical. You have the money, you can actually invest in AI, you can learn, you can deploy projects, you can outsource, you can do whatever you want. If you have the intellect, you can become someone who teaches AI, upskilling talents, a skill very, very much needed. And if you are just like me, at the right time and the right place, the opportunities are massive. And if you have the experience, if you're a builder, if you're a coder, if you're a developer, we need you right now to build and innovate. And if you're connected, if you have a good network, you can be the link between those who want to buy AI and those who want to sell AI. So I will leave you with this. I hope in those few minutes, I was able to really show you some of the positive innovations of AI and really show you the beauty behind that juggernaut of an industry. Hopefully, you will no longer fear it. And I hope that now, with all of these different unfair advantages, you know that you don't need to be an expert, a scientific geek or expert or guru on data to get value from AI. There's a lot of other ways that you can get value from it. So think of your life, think of your unfair advantages, think how you can solve specific problems in your daily. You might be sitting on a million dollar idea, but the choice is yours. You decide how you see AI. So the question is, are you going to see the beauty or the beast? My name is Omar Aridi, and this was my TED Talk. Thank you very much. <laughs>